Hello my dear, welcome to Dear LG. My dear, Dear LG is one of the best platforms to get authentic information about English grammar and literature. And in today's video, I'm going to make you clear. I'm going to make you understand the summary of short story Neighbors, which is written by Team Winton, or the full name is Team Winton. Okay, let's start the summary here, as you can see on the screen here. Neighbors, written by Team Winton. Let me start the short summary, sweep summary here. A short story, Neighbors, is written by Australian writer Team Winton. This story is about a newly married couple who have moved into a new home. My dear, this is short story and it is the story about a newly married couple who have moved into a new home a newly married couple and their neighbors. My dear, let me start the second paragraph here. It goes like this. A Macedonian family lives on the left. There is a newly married couple and on the left of that newly married couple, a Macedonian family lived and on the right, a widow from Poland. A widow from Poland. Widow from Poland. Macedonians thought it odd. For Macedonians, it's odd that the young man stayed at home. Yes, my dear, in this story, a young man stayed at home to write thesis. He was writing his story, I mean his thesis, while his wife worked. The wife worked and the husband stayed home. That looks odd for Macedonians. It took six months for them to adjust with their neighbors. The newly married couple you know, they were new there and it took a long time. It took six months for them to adjust with their new neighbors there. In the autumn, the young couple began planting vegetables. In the autumn season, the young couple, newly married couple, they started planting vegetables and the neighbors offered their assistance. Means, while planting vegetables, the neighbors or the Macedonian family or the... Uh, the widow from the Poland, they helped, they assist, they help that newly married couple while planting vegetables. They give their advice. The young couple did not inform about the pregnancy, but it was noticed by the neighbors. So it is obvious that the pregnancy is noticed by the neighbors, but they have not told their neighbors yet. That is why the young couple did not inform about the pregnancy. But it was noticed by the neighbors. They were delighted as they received gifts from their neighbors. They were very happy to receive gifts from their neighbors. When the baby was delivered, when the baby was born, the entire neighborhood came out to greet. The entire neighborhood became happy. They greet the young couple and wish them well. To wrap up, last paragraph, my dear. To wrap up, the young man recognized that he had been harboring prejudices. He had been, you know, prejudiced by about, about his neighbors there all alone and began to weep. He thought that he had been prejudiced. So he had been biased. That is why he began to weep. This beautiful story also proves that cultural and linguistic barriers can't stop people from bestowing love and compassion. This story is the proof that cultural and linguistic barriers are not the barriers. They cannot stop people from loving each other. They cannot stop people from bestowing love and compassion. These barriers are not exactly barriers. Cultural and linguistic barriers cannot stop people from loving each other, helping each other. Okay, that is all about the humanity. My dear, this is all about the summary. I hope you understood this summary properly. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.